welcome friends today we are going to learn about the reduction technique for dislocation of the temporomandibular joint the temporomandibular joint dislocation occurs when the mandibular condyle moves forward out of its functional position within the glenoid fossa and articular eminence into a position in front of these structures this stretches the ligament and muscles producing intense local orofacial pain this is a pectoral diagram demonstrating the reduction of the temporomandibular joint via the intraoral route here the patient is placed in a sitting position and the physician stands facing the patient at 11 o'clock so now place your thumb upon the lower molars with your fingers wrapped externally around the mandible apply firm slow and a steady pressure first in a downward direction then in the posterior direction and finally in the upward direction this is a pectoral diagram of a reduced temporomandibular joint this is a 60 year old lady who has suffered from an acute temporomandibular joint dislocation the most common clinical symptom is inability to close the oral cavity that is the open lock deformity and difficulty in speech now i am going to demonstrate the reduction technique i am placing my thumbs upon the lower molars of the patient and my fingers are wrapped externally around the mandible i am applying a firm slow and a steady pressure first in the downward direction then in the posterior direction and finally in the upward direction Here we can see the reduction has been achieved and the normal outline of the jaw has been restored. Post reduction a figure of 8 bandage is wrapped around the head and jaw to provide support below and interior to the lower jaw. The patient is refrained from wide jaw opening for 1 to 2 weeks after reduction.